eye opening. Um, well, it makes you think like this is where the, in the con or the concentration amount of, uh, let's say, the liquid based nutrients that people are feeding. When you're looking at carbon based nutrients, would it still be similar dosages looking at in terms of, um, let's say, the ratios that you're feeding your plants or would there it's more concentrated because it's more purified in terms of being carbon based instead of uh, the latter? Yeah. yeah, And I think a good way to create the analogy is to equate um the amount of carbon that's dissolved in feed water with CO2 that's in the air, because that's the most ubiquitous form. So most growers will, will know their CO2 levels. Maybe it's a thousand PPM, maybe it's 1500 PPM. Um, I can't speak for other carbon-based fertilizer lines, but I can tell you that our products are, your full line is capable of delivering approximately 4,000 PPMs of CO2 equivalent carbon. And that does not require any kind of sealed flowering room. In fact, you can have less than ambient CO2 concentrations and still get amazing results. Um, and for a very long time, we were trying to figure out how exactly this is possible, how it's working with the plants, because the idea effectively is that plants are in the business of taking CO2 out of the air. So what, what what's the, the, the mechanism by which they're capable of taking it up through the feed water 